Hey guys, let's try installing the chocolatey uh, package manager on Windows. Let's just give this a shot. So I'm going to open up PowerShell and uh, this isn't the only way you could do this, but let, let's try, um, I, I have this command here and if, if you check the link in the description, I'm going to try to put this command in the link in the description. Um, I, I'll probably put this command in the description, but I'll also put a link to a page that has this command and some details also. But anyways, let's copy this command and let, let's try downloading PowerShell. We'll see, we're, we're, we're downloading a, you know, a PowerShell script to install Chocolatey and uh, running it. See, we can see the URL right here. Let's just paste this command into our PowerShell window right here. Hit enter. And see how this goes. There we go. Downloaded, expanded. Requires administrator privileges. We need to. Yeah, no, no problem. We'll run this from a shell with administrator privileges. Let's go over here. Run as administrator. No problem. Grab the same command. Head back over here. I feel like I just want this to be sized like this. Now let's just paste this command in here. Same command. See, let's see how it goes. All right, there we go. Looks like it actually worked. Um, not setting tab completion. There's no profile. No, no big deal here. All right, so Chaco. Look at that. We can actually run the. So it said there's a good chance we'd have to, you know, close this, but um, looks like we don't have to. Looks like we can actually run the chocolatey uh, command w without closing the the shell. Let's see if our non-privileged shell can can also run it. Nope. Well, let's close that. Um, open up a new shell here, and let's see if this one can run it. There we go. A any PowerShell shell we use can use it now. So let's close these. So all my PowerShell shells are closed. Um, let's open another one. And Chaco. There we go, we have a chocolatey. Let, let's just see some of the things we can do. All right, so let's see here. You can run Chaco, and if, if you wanna get help or, or usage, you can say Chaco dash question mark. And there you go, it, it'll give you the usage and uh, kind of a little, you know, show, show you all the different commands and stuff you could use, which is kind of nice. Um, other than that, we're not gonna get, that. I think that's, that's pretty much it for today, actually. So um, I'll, I'll show you more things you can do with uh, Chaco in, in future videos, but that's, that's all we all really wanted to cover. If you found this useful at all, you might want to give us a thumbs up. Um, maybe you found it entertaining. Um, in any case, do leave a comment down below if you know something I don't know, if you have any questions, comments, or criticism, whatever you want to say, I want to hear it. Um, also, uh, you, you might want to hit that subscribe button because we have a lot of other great content. Um, you know, we do servers, uh, coding, uh, hardware, software, electronics, single board computers, 3D printing, all sorts of interesting stuff you're not going to want to miss. So yeah, definitely hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the little bell icon too. Otherwise, YouTube probably won't let you know when we come out with another video and you're not going to want to miss that. So um, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.